So in the last video, I got asked about these min value and max value inline hints. And let me show you how you can set that up yourself. So if you're in Visual Studio 2026, you can go over to tools, then over to options. You can go to languages, then to C sharp, then go to more settings and you get this advanced button. Once you get here, you simply just want to check display inline parameter name hints and you'll get all these extra checkboxes that are enabled so you can just leave them as the default. I haven't personally tried the show hints for everything else, but you can give that a shot if you really want to. Press OK and then once you go back, you should see them showing up. And now let me show you how to do it inside Visual Studio 2022. And you'll go into Tools and Options and you'll see you get this menu straight away, whereas the Visual Studio 2026 has been improved slightly where you get it inside the IDE directly instead of always having to go through this pop-up. So you can go through and minimize the environment section, go into text editor, then into C sharp, go into advanced, scroll all the way near the bottom. There it is again. We have display inline parameter name hints. Make sure that's checked on and press OK and you should be all good to go. I would like to show you one other option. If you have display inline parameter name hints turned off, you can always hold Alt and hold F1 and you can see it temporarily. Then once you let go, it will just disappear. So if you don't want them available at all times, you can just hold Alt and F1 and it will show up one time until you let go of them keys.